Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the from September the 28th to October the 4th, 2020. So Scorpio, let's pull your first angel answer card and get straight into the reading. Okay, there we have it. We have communicate clearly. It, you know, this can be to do with your own inner communication as well, getting clarity in terms of finding answers from within. It might also be to do with conversations that you might be having too. Let's pull one more. Any other message for Scorpio, please, angels? Any other message for Scorpio? No need to worry. Okay, what is the message that Scorpio needs to hear, please? This is the Mermaid Oracle Deck by Karen Kay. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. We have Awareness. Not becoming aware of something. And re energize. Interesting. Okay. So let's pull the cards. So Scorpio, I pull four cards. The first card is your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. And the fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. So we have the star card. Card of Aquarius. That is your current situation. We have Page of Wands in your challenge. Ace of Cups is advice from Spirit. Beautiful. And your outcome, Scorpio, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, let's clarify the cards on the table, please, for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. The Tower. With the Page of Wands. The Six of Cups with the Ace of Cups. And judgment. Clarifying the Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Swords. So there's a feeling of awareness here. No need to worry, communicate clearly, being re energized. What is this tower? What is this tower please for Scorpio? King of Pentacles. Okay. Let 
let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Queen of Wands. Let's clarify this this five of swords. Let's clarify this five of swords, please. Let's clarify this five of swords, thank you. Knight of Wands. It feels, Scorpio, in this situation that there is a need to communicate clearly and it, it feels that you've become aware of something. The tower is truth, revelation being, re you know, things being revealed, uh, can be a change. Now, The Seven of Pentacles with the star energy, there's a feeling here of almost kind of like evaluating how you move forward in a situation. It feels like a powerful turning point here. The star is a new hope. It is death to dream, uh, direction, find your purpose, uh, renewal of self. And interestingly enough, the star comes after the tower in the major arcana. So it feels that this is in, in dealing with this tower, whatever this tower was for you or is for you. Um, because there is a sense of renewal, there will be new hope and that's what you're being told. So if you are going through tower moments or you might feel like or you might be going through a tower moment, there is a message from spirit that stay hopeful you will understand how to make choices, decisions, and how you need to move forward. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of evaluation. It's also a card of good things come to those that are patient and perseverance. There's a, there's a level of perseverance and evaluation towards a new beginning here. You might be keeping your options open or looking at your options as well in how you move forward. Where I put my time and energy in now, and where I don't put my time and energy, where am I gonna get something back? and where am I not going to get anything back? You know, it's those kinds of things that you're evaluating, but it, it feels like it's towards some kind of new direction, new hope, new dream here, because you're dealing with what has happened with this tower. Now, the King of Pentacles is a sign of stability, security, safety, success. So can be in your money and career, can be in your home, your family or relationships. The pentacles energy is our solid relationships, can be to do with our money and career, can be to do with our home, also our health. So it feels in this situation that something's happened to bring this tower about. Now I did say the tower and it's destabilized something that seemed very solid. King of Pentacles can be a person as well, male or female energy. Earth energy, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's not limited to that, but it's somebody who is very practical, somebody who is so trustworthy. It feels like someone's trust has been broken here. It feels more like a relationship. Yeah. The tower energy is an energy of, as soon as this tower is tested by that lightning, it comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time. It can be to do with revelation, can be to do with you out of love being aligned to a new path, though it's not always an easy energy to deal with. Now, you know, certainly money and career wise, that could have could be the case. There's been deep change, deep instability in terms of your money and career. It can also be to do with your, your relationships, your foundational relationships. You've, you know, the tower can be a home. It can be a property with somebody. Um, 
so take it as you will. The Page of Wands is an energy of trying to find a solution on how to deal with this. Now sometimes this can be news, but in the challenge position it can also be somebody who is trying to get an idea, find a solution on how to deal with this situation, how to take action. Because I feel this Page of Wands is tying in with the Queen of Wands here. How do I take action? How do I just take decisive action to, to deal with this situation and be realigned to this new path now? Which is what the Tower wants you to do. That Ace of Cups is a new path. So the Queen of Cups is how do I intuitively take action? I need to trust my instincts and go in this direction. Decide this. Um, put my energy into this. You know, all of this kind of thing. I mean, she can be also somebody. You know, the Six of Cups can be reconnecting with somebody from the past. So in this, en you know, in this energy, in this energy, Scorpio, the Queen of Wands can be a person, somebody who there could be new love here, or somebody who is bringing new new opportunity. But as an energy, she is intuitive action. How do I trust my instincts to unfold this new path? It's a really beautiful message of the Ace of Cups, the Cup of Joy is waiting for you. This is either trusting your instinct to take action towards it, reconnecting to who you are, finding who you are, understanding, getting an idea of how you need to take action towards it, or it can be somebody in your life who is bringing some kind of opportunity and it's from the past. Now, it could be somebody that you've worked with, um, it could be somebody in your life that you never considered as a love relationship. So, like I said, I could read those cards in that way, but the message seems, seems clear in that respect. The Knight of Wands, again, it's an energy of putting a difficult situation behind you. And it feels like somebody has taken the reins of their life and charging ahead. Now, it might well be, like I said, an opportunity that this Queen of Wands is bringing in, that is bringing change to your situation. That could be in work, that could be in love. But change is definitely coming your way. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, they all hold the Ace of Wands. So, it absolutely feels like Either there's some opportunity which is bringing change to allowing yourself to move on from a past conflict in a situation, just put it behind you and think, thank goodness that's over with, I am ready to put this behind me. Um, or this is you, this is you, taking the reins of your life and taking action and making taking decisive action to bring change to your situation and put the arguments, the conflict behind you. And I feel it's the argument, it's the conflict to do with this tower. What has destabilized either your money or career or your love relationship scenario? The judgment card is a card of letting go. It's a card of stepping into your light and releasing old baggage because you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn. And like that Knight of Wands is, is very much saying, I am so ready to put this behind me. It's been a difficult journey. I am ready to bring change to my life now. This is either an opportunity coming into your life or you taking control of a situation. And judgment is saying, maybe there's some final choice or decision that you need to make here. But there's a feeling here, Scorpio, that karma is involved in this situation. This is karmic. It, it feels to me that something is drawing to a close and change is coming. And it feels like it's this week. It feels like it's imminent. A challenging journey is coming to completion. And you're being told now is the time to release any uh, injustice or poor treatment if you haven't been treated well in a situation, this is a card of giving it up to the universe because the universe always writes wrongs. And you can see the hills in the distance, you can see reach far and wide to say that the eyes of, just, the eyes of judgment never miss anything. The universe sees all. 
So the universe always writes its wrongs, not always when you expect it to, but it does, that's karma. Your karmic path, your new karmic path is being revealed. You're being told to step through to a new phase of your life. And don't hold back. The seven of, 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 of swords is an energy, it can be a card of self-sabotage. Don't let the bad feeling of whatever's happened in the past stop you from bringing change to the situation now. Because you are ready to step into a new phase of your life. The world card is the, the completion of a cycle. It is coming full circle. You are ready to step into a new phase. And I definitely feel for some of you, this is again, you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn. The person looks back at the past journey with acknowledgement of how much they've grown, what they've learnt, but they're not held hostage to it anymore. They're ready to, they're, they're putting it behind them and moving forward. Can be a card of winning through, accomplishment. It has been a tough journey to get here, but I'm finally ready to step into a new phase of my life. Now, this can be a victory, and the victory could be with an opportunity here that brings change as well. Can be in the form of a person, or it could be to do with your money and career. But either way, it feels that like whatever you've learned here, and it definitely feels like you've become aware of something here, you are being re-energized. And certainly that Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands is an energy. They're energy cards. They're action cards. They're, I'm doing something about this energy. You know, I'm doing something about this problem that I have, and I'm overcoming it. And definitely with that communicate clearly, I think you are finding the answers that you seek in how you need to move on from a situation and just put it behind you. And it feels that it feels that you'll have a sense of accomplishment here, of coming through a difficult cycle here. But absolutely there is an opportunity now to be realigned to a new path, a new path is coming to you. Whatever this eight Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups mean to you, like I said, it can be a person love uh, this ace of cups can be opportunities as well opportunities creative opportunities um can be in business and career could be with somebody from the past so however that resonates for you scorpio you are ready to step through to a new phase of your life and put a difficult situation behind you and the beautiful thing is that there is no need to worry because even though this tower has brought change the universe hasn't left you at that. The universe is guiding you towards a new direction. And that's what you're being told with the star energy. Um, yes, this has been difficult, but oh, this is going to feel so good. And I feel that's what you're, you're being told. There is no need to worry. Put your energy and take action to what is going to bring you growth, success, abundance, what connects to your passions. It's a go-getting energy of you're ready to move on. However this situation pans out, you are absolutely ready to move on and it feels like something new is coming your way. Yeah, there is a message of adapt to change. I do feel for some of you, yeah, this tower energy it feels like that Ten of Swords. You know, the Ten of Swords can be about betrayal, it can be about deep hurt, but it's over. You're being told the pain is over and there is a new day, a new dawn rising in the distance, pushing away the darkness now. And that's what you're being told by judgment, let it go. The universe is gonna step in and take care of the rest. There's karma. So there's a feeling of there's a new day, a new dawn rising. I like the fact that the Hermit has come out because this is you finding answers from within. This is your inner communication on how you need to take action in your external environment now. I can't, you know. I told you there's there's something new coming to your life. This is about embracing the new, but I feel that there will be a reason to start over, have a new chapter, and very much release, let go of what's gone. Two judgment cards. There is karma here, Scorpio. It feels like judgment day for somebody because if somebody hasn't acted fairly or well towards you, which they wouldn't have done with the Ten of Swords, 
it feels in this scenario that karma will always right wrongs but you're being told to liberate there is a wonderful new beginning and remember the fool is full of optimism he's open to receive a new chapter taking a step in a new path and I think it's leading to the ace of cups something joyous happy uplifting fulfilling yeah beautiful energy okay what do we have please as a final message for Scorpio thank you final message for Scorpio please angel spirits guides Yeah, I like this. We have Spider, Dreamweed, Dreamweaver. Uh, tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Yeah, I remember the star is about dare to dream. It is about thinking bigger. It is about opening your mind to, to a new path. Finding your direction, your purpose, reconnecting to who you are. Any other message, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Scorpio? We have Dear Trust. Approach this situation with a light heart. So, Scorpio, it absolutely feels, I mean, I've got the world and the fool. As one cycle closes, another one is opening. It feels very much out with the old, in with the new. There has been a difficult journey, I think, that you're ready to put behind you. It feels like there's somebody coming into your life who you've known from the past. Uh, they are bringing some kind of opportunity your way um, and it feels this is about taking a chance on a new path take that leap of faith because the universe is saying that's exactly where you need to be liberate from the old so powerful powerful energy I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you Scorpio and I will see you next time thank you